Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Exciting day today. We've had some details from Cold Games of the next update. As you can see on the screen, Alpha 53, planned for perhaps sometime this month. Um, it is available right now on Experimental Branch. You can opt into that if you go into Steam, in your game properties and just opt into Experimental and you could actually be playing this right now and help test it. Uh, I'm going to just scroll through these release notes and just show you what's to come and then we'll get straight into the game. So there is a new large cave um, in the southeast area of the map under the, the lovely big lake in the new area. Um, accessed via underwater lava tube, same as, same as the other cave. It's not um, linked to the existing cave. Um, currently, but um, he does plan to link them, Cold Games does plan to link those in a future update. And uh, it's much larger than the existing cave. It's got double the amount of subterranean space. That sounds really interesting. Um, some areas are more confined with tight tunnel systems leading deeper in. Can't wait to explore that. Um, a new source of Crystal to the southern area, which was much needed. I mean, traveling back across the map just to go and get crystal was quite a task. So it's good to have that in the new area. Uh, oh, yes, new animal, wild boar. Um, they'll generally avoid players and predators, but if cornered or threatened will attack. Okay. Oh, look at that beast. He looks quite formidable. Look at his eyes. Their attacks have a high chance of breaking bones and call it causing bleeding. Um, oh, that's interesting. So the boar will substitute the wolf spawns in their areas. Um, now, I think these spawn, I think it's said, in heavily wooded areas. Uh, yes, wooded areas. So keep, a, keep an eye out for those. But nice to have a, a, new, a new animal. Uh, a bit of variety should be very interesting oh my gosh um so hunting and butchering boar will yield pork chops <laughs> as well as a large quantity of animal fat fantastic that's going to be really good i don't eat meat but i have to say that does look quite quite uh, tasty okay slanted glass walls so this is going to be really great um we should be able to make some lovely um greenhouse type uh builds i don't know if yeah this is just glass at the moment so i don't think you can do this with the wood at the moment but uh yeah some really interesting um greenhouses there you go that is uh, that's pretty fantastic i like the look of that um gorgeous build there i'd love to go and have a wander around that build and look at this one as well with that nice glass frontage sort of sticking out very interesting. Should make some, some great Tony Stark style uh, bases. Foundation stairs, um, half half width. Um, so a slimmer variant of the, the foundation stairs. Awesome. Oh my gosh, bats. Okay, so the cave systems now have a natural threat beyond the mining hunters. Large bats. Um, high chance of causing infection and bleeding. Oh, bats do get such a bad rap. Um, but I understand why they needed to be uh, added into the cave. There really wasn't any other predator apart from the hunter, so... Um, and you can use them to harvest meat. Hmm, I don't think I'd like to eat bat meat, but there you go. Oh my god, that picture! That picture is incredible. I wonder how long it took to get that. That's that's really cool. Um, so yes, Cold Games has created a new AI and navigation system for flying animals. Oh great, so I plan to reuse that for ground level flying animals, so above ground level. Excellent, I'm looking forward to seeing some birds flying around. Maybe an eagle or two. Uh, hunt AI adjustments and firepower tweak. Um, so a tweak to, the slow, uh, uh, to slow movement speed when engaged in combat and during base attacks. Yeah, they did sort of sprint around um, oddly sometimes and just a, a balancing of their firepower between easy, normal and hardcore modes. Um, a change to how they will target which base to attack. So more of a, a co-op game um, tweak there. 
Uh, base item register and range extenders. So you can read through this. I'll, uh, I'll leave that on the screen just for a moment. But um, this is all to do with um, having a large sort of spread out compound and the way that things link to the ECU with the extenders. Um, so if it becomes in unlinked from the base, it shows with a red panel, which is really helpful. Um, previously, um, if something happened and you know you had to destroy your BCU, I, I think some of the equipment would become unusable, um, and you might need to rebuild it. So it's good to see that that's been addressed. Wild strawberries during the summer months. Wild strawberries can be found growing around the world. Nice. So they've got a slightly better stats than blueberries, and some hydration boost. That's going to be good. Animal fish traps um, now decay at a much slower rate, uh, so they last for about five days. That's excellent news. Campfires now will be extinguished if left uncovered in the rain, <laughs> apart from on easy. That sounds good. That's good. Um, oh, and they have a damage skin. Okay, so that's just to um, so you can sort of see how how uh, far along the decay path they are. Uh, a good fix here for the random poison bug in co-op. Um, I never really experienced that too often, but I know it was a, a big problem for some players. Um, a, a cave lighting bug has been fixed. Uh, vertical half walls, yay! I am so happy to see this brought in. Um, previously we had to build two half walls and stack them on top of each other, and it, it looked fine when you'd upgraded it to the alloy sheet in but it did look a bit clunky with the wood option um, so yeah I'm pretty happy that that's that's now in. Elevators will now stop on half floors um, yeah base design should be less restrictive so that's good. Uh, an update to the water shader take a look at that when we get in the game um, roof alignment for the glass yep sounds good. Migrating birds I've toned down the number of birds and added more variation to wing flapping animations. Awesome. Yeah, they were kind of just a little bit, um, a little bit simple, but uh, nice to see that that's been updated. Um, oh, increase the size of wild cotton plants. So this should make them more, more visible during the fall. Excellent news. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, a note about dedicated servers. Um, so that's something that is being worked on and should be available in the near future. Nice. And a few other notable bug fixes and things. So shadow bug. Oh, brilliant. This is the floating hair, the, the scary floating hair for female characters. Oh, I don't know if I might miss that, uh, but that's been fixed. Uh, increased the range of weapon flashlights. Great stuff. Added lighting for white water particles when fishing. Okay. Uh, fix small gaps in the walls of the old cave system. Uh, increase the resolution of the loading screen. Fix the hunters moving into the world message shown when building a second base. Added a smooth transition between outdoor and cave environmental lighting. Cave entrance only, okay. Fixed max health stamina resetting on death. Okay. So decrease amounts are now 246. Ease I get across easy, normal and hardcore. Okay. That's fine. Fix the bug metal door model when in an open state. Fix the bug that was causing up to four hunter bases spawning to surround a single player base. Wow. Never saw that myself, but that sounds interesting. Um, oh, there you go. An exploit uh, been uh, resolved where you could save and reload while low on breath um, while diving. Okay. Uh, a visual bug where held weapon while in the map view. Okay, I don't know if I ever noticed that. Uh, increased visibility underwater and various underwater impact sounds playing without underwater effects. Okay, awesome. So there you go. Um, get on to Cold Games' Discord. Um, follow him on Twitter um, for further updates and details. Um, but we're going to jump straight into the game now. Okay, we are in game. Let's have a look. We are playing, yep, Alpha 53. So we're playing on Experimental right now. The new update is available for you to help test. Just opt in via Steam. 
It's a very dark and miserable day here. Oh dear. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look at the buildable um, menu. And yeah, there's the new um, half width um, wood foundation stairs. Awesome. And we should have those slanted, lovely slanted glass walls as well. Oh, I don't think I can build anything great with these in this area, but I might go back to my last save and maybe put a, you know, a bit more interest in my greenhouse. Uh, and if I do, I'll record that and show you. I'll bring you back and show you. So a couple of new options there for us. I don't think there's anything else new in the other menus elsewhere. Nope. Right, I think we should get out today and go and have a look for a wild boar. And somewhere under under that very uh, very cold and miserable looking lake over there is uh, a fantastic new cave system. What a shame we haven't got diving unlocked yet. Oh, that would have been fantastic to go and head down into there. Okay, well, let's get going. Um, can't forget what we need to do today. Uh, I've got a bit of food and water and vegetables on me. I need to eat something before we leave. Let's go up and check the plants. They should be well watered because of the rain we've just had, but let's go and check anyway. And I heard the alcohol finish. Um, how long we got left on that? That's going to be ready later today and we've got a full row of cotton and potatoes and onions in that bed. Nice. Oh, it's a proper autumn day here. The leaves blowing all over the place. Game still looks as pretty as ever. Uh, let's take a quick look at the map. Uh, so I'm not zoomed in at the moment, uh, but we can see just the two campfires. Are there any other camps? Yeah, we've got another set of rogues uh, over by that hill. Uh, so if we avoid them, maybe we can kind of run over into this area. This is fairly wooded. Uh, we can't really go down into like the birch forest because of the... Well, this is the birch forest, isn't it? The red forest, we could probably have a little look around for a boar. Uh, but I would worry about getting a bit too close to those rogues. Maybe we just go and have a look down in the, the green valley. But I'm not seeing any other road camps nearby. Oh, there's one. Okay, that was there last time we played. Checking to see if there are any around the big lake. Maybe we could kind of have a, a run over there. Okay, awesome. Right, let's get some food in me and then we'll head out. And we'll grab this alcohol that's finished. Uh, how are we off for wood in here? Might just top the two fires up with wood before we leave. And uh, make sure that that's not going not gonna to go out while we're out and about. Uh, so we've only got one alcohol there. I've got none left in here. We did make some circuit boards last time. We've got plenty of pearls. We've got a little bit of cotton. Um, look at all the sinew we've got because we're right in Kitty... Kittyville. Um, I've got some refining on the go. Have I got any biofuel? I've got none in there right now. I've got 20 in here. Do I want to use all of that up just to top that up? I think I probably do. Let's maybe put half in. And we'll leave that running. Don't think the... Um, We'd lose power today because the uh, the wind is blowing. Okay, awesome. Yeah, let's just go out and maybe do a bit of hunting. We've got six shotgun shells on us. Um, I've got some 44 rounds. Uh, we do have some arrows. We could probably do with a little bit more. Uh, I'll make some sticks while we uh, while we're topping on the fire, and that'll be good. Maybe we could do a little bit of boar hunting. Boar hunting with a 44. Should probably take the uh, the rifle with me, but we'll see how it goes. Right, okay. 
Let's grab some nails, feathers, and make a few more arrows. There we go. Right, let's get out and about, go and see what we can see. Uh, eat, yes. Let's just remember to eat. And see if we can have some berries. That'll do, that'll do nicely. Um, do you think I'll need my warm winter jacket today? I feel like I should take it just in case. There we go. We're sorted. I, I need to make one of those nice um, autumn sweaters. There's a lot crate down there. Uh, do I want to do that before we leave? I could make one. Have we got 18 iron? We do. Let's go and get it. That's just too valuable. That's uh, too many good resources. Uh, and it's it's quite local to us, so why not? Oh, yeah. Power is going down now. Wait, let's grab this. I don't think there was a road camp down there. But we'll go and see. Um, so, where is the kitty today? Got a bear there. Make sure I've got it with me. I don't think there are any hunters around here. The kitty is up on the hill. Right, here's our opportunity. Let's go and grab this and run back, drop the stuff off, and then we'll uh, we'll head out. Look how pretty this game is, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not hap uh, unhappy with that actually. Sorry, I get my words out. I like the protein bars. I do love to have those with me when I'm running around. Um, grab that berry. I wonder if we'll spot any new cotton plants. The new in increased size cotton plants. Yeah, I'm not not unhappy with that. That's uh, a little bit of ammo and tomato seeds. Well, maybe it's not all that good. Should we take the rifle with us now? Still don't have an awful lot of ammo. We make some rifle rounds. Yeah, okay. Weapon parts and we'll put the pistol away. Yep, yeah, let's take the rifle with us just in case we do see a boar. Actually, looking at that, that probably could have been a better a better crate. Oh well. It's done now. Always nice to have extra seeds. We've got 14 tomato seeds in there now. Okay, right, let's go. So where should we head? Um, oh, I've woken up a wolf. Oh my gosh, he's right here. It's not a good start, is it? Get the shotgun ready just in case. But we'll head over in this direction. Go and see if we can find ourselves some uh, wild boar. Which one up here? I would like... Oh, that bear up there. I would like to... S and there's a bear down there. Oh dear, this is not the best... The best start of running around, is it? Was that the cougar up there, do we think? I think I'm running straight towards these rogues over here. Let's go and see if we can kind of run around them. Yeah, it'd be cool to be able to see um, one of the wild boar, if not hunt them. Uh, let's listen out now. Let's see if we can hear any hunters chopping, because I think they're just up ahead. I think they're a little bit further that way than where I am right now, but I'd rather not run into them if I can. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so I was pretty close this way, actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we should be able to sneak around here. Let's grab this fibre. I would just like to try and get to a little bit of a wooded, wooded zone. Just remember they're there for the way back. 
be nice to just get the chance of seeing, as I say, this new animal. I don't think it's going to be up here, but I'm, I'm just going for these crates. We still need resources. We still need those components, which we've just got two. That's good. And a shotgun shell. Awesome. Always good to get a shotgun shell. Did I hear then? There's a crate up there. Oh, there's a berry over here. Well, there's another crate. This is always good. After um, an update, the loot table is very generous. We've seen this in the past. I'm going to leave that crate for now that's up in the uh, snowy area and just try and get out of this zone and over towards the woods. Oh, it's going to be a cold day. Right, well, we've got a deer. Let's keep going this way. Hi, rabbit. Um, got another berry here. I'm also looking for cotton plants. Did you see that little puff of... Um, oh, there's a cotton plant! Yay! What a shame I couldn't stop and look at that. We saw a cotton plant. They're definitely more visible. This is the perfect time to spot them as well right in, in the middle of autumn. Let's see if we can find another one. Is it me or are there a lot more bears around? I've seen so many already. Yeah, I really wanted to come over this way and go towards that lovely pine forest by the waterfalls. There's a cougar, right in front of us. How well blended into the uh, scenery they are. Just going to stop for this crate over here. If that cougar's over there, we know she's not in this area. That was useful. This um, area is perfect for searching for the cotton, I think. Let's go this way. Uh, chicken. Uh, we've got a medicinal. We should see some cotton down in this, this area here, I'm sure. But glad that we found that one already. Shame, I, as I say, shame I couldn't stop and take a closer look. See if I can see them across the landscape a little easier now. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we could head down into the, the Green Valley. It is just down the hill over there. Just trying to think where I may have seen cotton before. This isn't exactly a wooded area, that's the problem. That's really what I wanted to target today. This this little bit in front of us now is, so maybe we could do this. Okay, we've got a bear with a crate. Yeah, this little area in front should be should be pretty good. Oh, hunter. A hunter running as well. Did, did he? Is he after me? I wonder. I can't hear him. I didn't even spot those rogues. Let's just run for a bit and then we'll turn around and take a look. Maybe I'll get behind a, uh, a rock. Actually, let's just... Let's just stop here. 
I wonder if he was just running in general and I happened to run past while he was sort of nearby. He doesn't seem to be coming this way. Oh, blimey. That's scary. It's kind of funny how we've ended up over here. It's not exactly where I was aiming for, but... That was, uh, that was very interesting, seeing that hunter run past. I wonder where he was going. I feel like I'm going to get pounced on in any moment. Okay, this is where I thought maybe some cotton could be. Chances of uh, seeing any, I think, are quite slim. Have a look down here. Um, there's a bear. Let's look up here a second. Let's get away from that bear. They really do aggro at a larger distance. Just want to try and get a view over a uh, sort of a uh, a meadow or something, see if I can spot those cotton there. The fibres really stand out. Yeah, this should be good. Let's see if we can spot any cotton at a distance. Nope, not really. Uh, actually, what's that over here? Oh, oh lots of ore. I oh, want to stop for ore today. I don't like how um, loud this storm is. I'm finding it a little difficult to hear anything approaching. Have a look down here. This is quite wooded. Let's see if we can see a boar. Let's sneak around because I think they stay away from people. It said we've got more rogues over there. Okay, I'm glad I saw those fairly early. We'll head over this way then. That's a few camps, a couple of camps we've seen. Right, this should be a good area to spot cotton in because of the um, the difference in colour. There's one right in front of us. Very cool. Why do I feel like I'm I'm gonna get jumped on? Where did it go? There it is. Let's get a little shot of that now. That's much easier. Cool. Okay. Yep, that's definitely much easier to find now. Oh, there's a, there's another hunter camp. My God. How many hunters are on this map? Oh, was that the same one? I'm getting a bit turned around, maybe. Have a look through the valley. looking up the hill there yeah this is nice and, and wooded down here can't go too far that way because of the uh, the rogues but there's a wolf another cotton seed yay such good news I'm very happy very happy about that that really makes running around in the uh, bad weather in autumn Totally worth it. That's like uh, two pieces of cotton and one seed we found today. Uh, I better eat and maybe drink as well. Um, I'll have a couple of berries. That should be good enough. Right, let's go this way. That's why I love having those um, protein bars on me. Just really helps. 
when you're on the move constantly like this. Just to keep going, keep your stamina up. I'm kind of ignoring a lot of, you know, um, ore on the rocks and that sort of thing, but let's go and look in the, the copper forest. That might be a good area to look for the boar. This is not far from where those rogues are. Let's stand somewhere safe and this is dangerous. I don't like going into the map. Um, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine for a little while. Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't like going into the map when I'm out and about just because you're so vulnerable. Oh, hello. <laughs> See, I could have I could have been perched right next to that bear. Sat looking at my map. Hi, chicken. And uh, and then he wanders over and uh, eats my face. I know a lot of people are going to be happy with this change to the cotton plants. It looks like maybe they were there all along and we just weren't spotting them. Too well disguised. Too well disguised in the, uh, the other foliage. I mean it is incredibly beautiful. Autumn especially. All the colours and the different flowers and really stunning. Okay, I've got to remember that it is going to get dark soon, and I do need to do need to head home. Oh, I hear a boar! That's him! Oh my god, that's one right in front of me. Wow, I, I wondered what that was. It, it it scared me. Oh my word, look at him, schnuffling. So that was a boar I saw before, it wasn't a bear. Look at him schnuffle. I love it. Hello. Oh my word, look at him. Oh, I want to I wanna shoot him in the butt. This could be scary. This could be very scary. I'm quite close to him. You can get quite close to them before they run away. Okay, so he's gone over that way, but he's gone towards a... Uh, a bear. That sound was just incredible. I wonder if we can kind of reach him with this. I wonder if we're going to get mushrooms soon. This doesn't that make sense? I mean they use boar for hunting um, for truffles in Europe. Okay that's two shots in him. I think what I might do now Well, you know what? We should be able to hit him from here. Yay! Awesome! Alright, let's go and carve up that fella. Keep the shotgun out till we get a bit closer, just in case, because there is a bear. Really close by. I mean, I wasted a couple of shots there on, on uh, that one kill, but... You know what? It had to be done. Okay, so we've got a lovely wild boar. Uh, let's see if I can get maybe a screenshot of, of him. Wow, look at his tusks. Okay, let's, let's carve him up. Ooh, okay, one pork chop. Two animal fat, okay. Not as good as I was hoping. I was hoping for more. That was a level two, I think. 
I was hoping for more animal fats. Uh, oh gosh, I must remember there is a, a road camp around here somewhere. Eek. But how cool was that? Very nice. Um, I might wash hands here. Just because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get back to where I need to. Um, I seem to be fairly safe here. Let's have a quick look at the map. Is there still a road cam? Yeah, just round this corner. So as long as I kind of take a a left after I come through this um, this track here, I should be I should be fine. Is that right? Have I got that right? Let's see. I think they're over there to the right. Well, we'll see. Uh, okay. Oh, but well, that was cool. I'm pretty, uh, pretty glad we we saw that boar and the noises he was making. Yeah, the rogues are over there. Yep. Okay, let's go this way. Yikes. Uh, we'll grab the scrap. Oh, he's shooting something. Yikes. Let's keep out of the way of these guys. I'm not watching. I'm really not concentrating on what, what I'm doing. I've missed that crate over there, but there was a bear coming to be fair, so... Okay, uh, sorry, a wolf. I heard a wolf on the way. So the hunters are killing something. But we're kind of close to home now. We can have a little loot around. So we're gonna have some pork chops. We need some apples from apple trees to make apple sauce now, maybe. Although I was looking online um, and you can eat pork chops with um, balsamic, uh, uh, balsamic vinegar strawberries. Oh yeah, that's strawberries. We, we should be looking out for those in the summer as well. Not the right time of year at the moment. But yeah, you can have um, pork chops with uh, balsamic strawberries, I found out today. What a great day! So we found a couple of cotton, quite a few actually. Um, saw a boar, saw him snuffling around and uh, got a lovely pork chop for our troubles. We're going to cook that up, see what recipes um, are offered for the pork chops. Because uh, we've got the cooker now. Uh, we only have the frying pan, unfortunately, so... Anything more than that, we might not be able to see the recipe for, but... If not, we might just cook up the pork chop normally. The bear is pouring around at the ground and making that um, dust come up as well. So that is a new thing, that is a new change to their animation. That wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, but I love those little touches that whole games brings in. Where are you and can I get this bag in time? Let's see. Still trying to get loot. Yeah. I don't think I need... Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh dear. Hi bear. Sorry about disturbing your day. I like these little touches that Cole Games, these little tweaks that he makes and doesn't kind of specifically mention them in the in the notes, but I saw the crate up on the rock there. Can we get that? We can. Should we do that? So we've still got some good light in here. Yeah, I think we can. I'm gonna have a little look around, see if we can spot any cotton. Yeah, he doesn't always list all the little fine detail tweaks that he makes, um, but I love just stumbling across those those changes. They're a nice surprise. Uh, what are you? A, a wolf, okay. And um, we've got a deer there. It's getting very dark, but I think it's been a great day.
I'm going to have to um, load up one of my old saves and have a look at building a lovely greenhouse with those new shapes. Um, so when, I, uh, when I've made some progress on that, I'll definitely bring you back in and uh, do a little, little preview of that on the uh, recording. Oh, hello. Hi. Yikes. <laughs> you got really close. Okay, we're about to lose our fire. Uh, let's put the bat away. And let's have a look at the oven recipe. So, nothing for... Chops. No, okay, I'm glad we can see the recipes at least. But nothing available for pork chops. So I reckon you probably have to... Just cook them normally in the fire. Should we, uh, should we get that one going and see what it looks like? Oh, got some good seeds today. Let's put the light on. I need to do something about the lighting in, in my uh, area here. We've got time to top this water up before he comes over. That was a bit cheeky of me. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Very cool. Let's put these other things away. So we got some components. We've been struggling for those, so that's really good. Bit of biofuel, scrap, cloth, nice bit of cotton. So we're up to six cotton. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, not as much fat as I was expecting. Pork chops medium. So on the medium cooking, 22 protein, two fruits and vegetables, 17 hunger. Down on five, uh, minus five hydration at that stage. There it is cooked. Let's grab that off the fire so it doesn't burn. So source of protein can be used in cooking recipes. Oh, okay. Protein plus 32, fruits and veg three, hunger 27, hydration minus five. Awesome. Okay, we'll, help, we'll eat that in, in just a moment. Let's go and check on the fire upstairs. Uh, yeah, we'll drop a fuel brick in there now. Let's put a light on and we'll check our plants. Did I see a, a rogue fire over there? Where are they? Oh, yes, they're nearby. And can you see there was some gunfire here? That was the rogue camp that we walked past. Lots of uh, gunfire. They are having a mighty old battle. There's something there too. Is that something, you know, snuff snuffling, and it's showing up on the um, on the map? Or there's a rogue. There's a normal hunter. What is that? If that's a wild boar wandering around and he's, he's snuffling, that's cool. I want to zoom in on this map because that hunter is moving. Um, I think the rifle is the best zoom. So he was walking around with his, uh, with his blue light out. Cool. Okay. Oh, and we've got... We've got a road camp opposite our small hunter base down here as well. Okay, that's good to know. So there's two road camps. Let's see, where did we run today? I don't think I uncovered them on the um, the map. I don't, didn't get close enough. We saw a couple of camps around here, didn't we? Um, when we were over in that area, in the Green Valley as well, we saw that guy running back, not seeing any of their bases. Oh, there's one right round the, um, the bottom of the big lake, the, the, the main lake. Opened up a little bit more of the map anyway. That's cool. Okay, good. Um, we can put that away for the moment. These should be ready. Tomato is. Doesn't look like the potatoes are quite there yet. Um, 
not really using water as much. It has been raining, of course, today. Good. Okay. That's topped up. I wonder if I drop some fertilizer in here, whether that will just perk them up enough to um, to keep going. I'll drop that potato in there. Oh, we can see that rogue camp as well from here, over in that direction. That's quite cool. Across the map. And you can just see the lights of the hunter base. Is it me or are these camps more visible at night? Is there a moon now? Oh, look at the blue of the sky. Very cool. Yeah, I'm not sure that I could see that camp as clearly as I can now. Hmm. Maybe there's been a, a little bit of a tweak there too. Okay. Uh, well, we've got um, 15 uh, tomato, one cotton seed still. Um, we've got our um, pork chops. Let's, let's eat those and see what this does to our bar because we're maybe just a little over halfway. Okay, that was a fair chunk. Um, not filled all the way up, but that that's not too bad. Um, so I've upped up. Oh, yep. Yeah. I've uh, topped up that fire. Let's do this one before we lose it. Oh, oh, just in time. Okay. Great stuff. I'm I'm really pleased with um, how today went. To be able to see that wild boar, take it down. Um, get my first pork chop. It was pretty, pretty cool. Put those berries away. We do need, I, I think we can afford a tomato now. Um, I'll put one of those away. We'll need another something. I will cook myself up a, uh, a steak, I think. Go and top the water up. Oh, and it's the next day. The sky is very red. Very dramatic sky, but I suppose it is after a storm. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to cook myself up some more food. Um, but that is today's episode. Thank you so much for sticking with me as I talked through those release notes. I hope you get in to Experimental and help test out this fabulous update. It looks incredibly interesting. Can't wait to get going with a little bit of building. Um, I might do, as I say, might do that on my um, other profile and bring you back to have a look at that. Um, we will definitely have to make a push now to get through and unlock diving um, so we can go and explore that massive cave. Um, yeah, so much to look forward to. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.